Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a shop your wardrobe edition, uh, specifically targeting travel outfits. I'm heading away on a short haul flight um, to Spain next week and I started thinking, okay, what am I packing? What am I traveling in? And the travel outfits are always something that seems to be neglected. Uh, it's always a bit of a last minute thing. So I wanted to get ahead of myself this time. And my first port of call is always Pinterest for inspiration when I'm like, can't decide or, you know, sometimes there's things in your wardrobe that you've forgotten about and you need a picture to help you remember that it's there. So I stopped on Pinterest and made a board for travel outfits. Before we get into today's video, can I please ask you to like it if you enjoyed it and maybe learn something new. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know about 70% of people watch the channel and don't end up subscribing, but they come back and keep watching. So why not subscribe to the channel? And if you'd like to support the channel and keep it going, you can do so by hitting that super thanks button. And for the price of a coffee, you can help keep it going. And I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, remember, I have a range of online courses that you can take to help you refine your personal style. Or if you'd like to work with me one to one, you can also do that, whether that's in person or online with a range of style consultations, including color consultations, body shape consultations, shop your wardrobe consultations and much, much more. So all that info is in the description below. Let's get going with today's video. So one of the things I like to think about when I'm planning my travel outfit is the temperature and time of day that I'm leaving a place and the temperature and the time of day I'm arriving at a place. That plays a big part. So just to give you an idea of what's going on here in Ireland at the time of traveling, we're looking at about six degrees uh, Celsius in the morning, which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And then that's like 7 a.m. in the morning. Arriving into could be like 25 degrees hovering around there, which is 80 degrees thereabouts in Fahrenheit. Uh, and that could be about midday. So, you know, feeling the heat quite a bit. So we're going from fairly cold to fairly warm. Layers is gonna be key. The option to take off a couple of layers, also be cozy on that flight, which is about two and a half hours. So I'm gonna pick three of those outfits from Pinterest and recreate them from what I've already got in my wardrobe. So it might look a little bit different, but that's the whole point of shopping your wardrobe, not to go out buying something that has inspired you, but to figure it out with what you've already got. Because most of us have enough in the wardrobe already. A quick question for you. Are you a person who travels in jeans in denim. I know a lot of people will absolutely swear off traveling in denim because of comfort levels, especially if it's 100% cotton, there is no give. Um, but I've done quite a bit of traveling in my day. Uh, I've been to over like 80 countries in the world. Um, I, you know, traveled for a living for a long time. And I think I probably traveled in jeans 95% of the time maybe more. Now, having said that, there was always a bit of a stretch in them. I didn't travel in 100% cotton jeans. That's, I think, very important. But let's see what's in these photos here today. And maybe you could vote for your favorite one, help me out which one to wear. And uh, we'll, we'll figure it out and I'll have a much clearer idea about where we're going <laughs> when I get on that plane next week. Okay, so outfit one is fairly classic. By the way, if you want more uh, videos on shopping your wardrobe, how to do it, there is a bit of an art to it. I have plenty of videos on that. So uh, check those out if you want to know how to fully break down an outfit and work out this system for yourself. So this outfit is, um, it looks, it's simple is the key word here. Um, we've got monochrome underneath. Okay, so that could, that looks like a pair of leggings. Is it jeans? If they are jeans, they're stretchy jeans. Um, they're skinny style, chunky white trainer, which is kind of creating this contrast against the black. Keep that in mind. Um, we don't know if that's a long sleeve or a short sleeve underneath. I would probably go for something short sleeved, um, just giving the temperature that we're arriving into. Then we've got a trench coat. Now, you know me, I don't have a kind of this classic beige trench coat. We talked about beige last week. <laughs> 
and for a winter, it's not our best friend. So uh, I do have an alternative, which I will show you and you can let me know uh, if, if it works with the outfit. So, I mean, more or less, it's really simple. The hair is tied back, you know, I can imagine that. Like, I mean, I'm gonna be getting up at 3.30, 4 in the morning. It's not going to be high fashion, highly groomed kind of look. So a great big pair of oversized sunglasses, hair tied back, um, and then she's got a matching kind of beige bag. Bags, I'm gonna have to figure out. Um, I never like to take one of my fancier bags on an aircraft just because if I'm asked to put it underneath the seat in front of me, I do not want to put my bag on the floor of an aircraft. <laughs> I've worked on aircrafts. I've seen too much. I'm not putting my nice bags on the floor of an aircraft. So um, I tend to travel with bags that I'm not overly precious about. Um, yeah, so we'll keep that in mind. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's like, this is wearing a couple of rings. Um, I mean, I think that could work. I might be a bit chilly on the Ireland end, traveling at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, but otherwise, I think it could be a pretty good look. So uh, let's put this together and see how it turns out. Let me know what you think. Okay, outfit number one. I'm starting off with the underlayer, the basics. And uh, I've kept, I had my black skinny jeans on. There's a good stretch to them. I'd be really comfortable wearing these uh, traveling, especially if you're like two and a half hours flying. It's, it's good. Um, this top would not be enough just under a trench coat. And I was trying to find my black cardigan to kind of keep it monochrome. Do you think I could find it? No. So um, I'm gonna try out, because I definitely need another layer. This is not gonna be enough in Ireland first thing in the morning. So I'm just seeing what this is like. This could be a bit, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. Um, then we also need our trench coat. As I said, I don't do beige trench coats, so I have this gorgeous cobalt blue coat that I got oh, a few years ago now. All right, now, so we can actually just even cover up that cardigan completely if I need to, but you need that layering moment if you're going to hotter weather, for sure. So this, I like this, this is very practical, <laughs> this is good. Now let's think about footwear. The only thing I have close to a chunky white trainer are my Nike trainers, mostly white, but a little bit of purple, which I don't mind because it's still a cool color, ties in with the coat somewhat, but let's see what it looks like. And there's a black tick on them, so you know, ties in with the trousers. I don't know how I feel about these particular trainers. I think it's just in my head because these are the trainers I use for like walking, walking around the seafront, just, you know, exercise. So for me traveling in them, like whenever I was traveling for work, I always had to dress kind of business casual or, you know, smart casual. And these shoes would not have been acceptable. So in my head, I'm always thinking like, you know, when you're traveling, you kind of dress up a little bit and trainers were never a part of that. So that's still in my head. Having said that, these are super comfortable, very practical. And, you know, if I end up doing some hiking over in Spain, it's great to have them. And they're, you know, you don't wanna, they would take up a lot of room in the case. So maybe it is very practical to wear them. Let's see, let's tie up my hair complete the look and of course I've got the handbag as well so in that photo she's just kind of swept her hair back in a low bun straight out of bed getting on those early flights okay and then gotta have the big shades doesn't matter if it's four o'clock in the morning gotta have the big shades lovely black frames tying in with the outfit and last of all a handbag I just grabbed this very old handbag. It's kind of in, it's seen better days. Uh, but like I said, for traveling, I need something that I don't mind being knocked around a little bit. Uh, so that could work out. Let me see. 
what do we think of this travel outfit? I think it's actually, I, I really like this actually, and I think it's very practical. Um, I'm hoping I won't need the coat where I'm going, but it's thin enough that it'll pack up nicely. The bag is big enough that it'll carry all my bits and pieces that I need for on the go, water bottle, snacks, uh, you know, books, those kind of things for traveling. Um, this, I feel good in this. And I feel like I could take off some layers and I'd still be comfortable. Let me know what you think about that one. Moving on to outfit two. What I'm noticing is, <laughs> I, I said this before in a video, like there's so much in the way of neutrals around. There's like, there's a, such a lack of color and it makes me sad sometimes in terms of like getting inspiration or something. So I might have to just inject some color of my own in some of these outfits. But let's move on to the next one. Speaking of which, another monochrome outfit, um, all black this time. Now we've got, a, okay, we've got a wide leg trouser. Does anybody know what I'm gonna say next about wide leg trousers and traveling? <laughs> when you're on a plane and you need to go to the bathroom, I do not want my trousers going on the floor of the bathroom. And when you have a wide leg like that with no elastic on the bottom or nothing to hold them up, the chances of trousers meeting bathroom floors increases exponentially. And I don't like it. <laughs> Once again, I've seen too much. I worked on aircrafts. Uh, so I love the, the idea of the comfort level of a wide leg trouser, the practicality of it, a little bit different, but I'm gonna try it on and see how it works out. So black wide leg trousers, we've got a white trainer again, and we've got uh, a black sweater, jumper. I don't have something like that, so I'm gonna have to kind of think outside the box here. And a cap this time. I like the idea of a cap, not only because, I mean, it, it hides a multitude, right? At that time in the morning, if you got messy hair, stick the cap on, you know, nobody's gonna see you, but also it's it's gonna be practical for being away in hotter weather to have something for my head to cover up. So I like that idea. Um, presumably there is something lighter, a lighter layer on under that, under that sweater. Uh, so that is, what I would do because you can always peel off the sweater, you know, put it over your shoulders, tie it on the waist, uh, stuff it into your handbag, you know, anything like that. So uh, let's put this together and see how it looks. Okay, next outfit, starting off with the basics. So wider leg trouser, which I already prefer the proportions of this, just with my body shape, this works better for me. Um, I think this could, really work very nicely when I arrive into that hotter weather and I just want to peel off. I feel really comfortable wearing this. So uh, I like it as a base layer and the trousers just have a little bit of interest with the gold stripes there. From there, we're going for this like all black look. I just can't find <laughs> my black cardigan. Um, so I'm thinking outside the box here. So I've got this blazer which ordinarily I wouldn't wear in this kind of combination, but I'm seeing just, just, you know, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. Uh, usually I'd go for something a little bit longer to cover my bum, but it's an unusual combination. I've never put this one together before. That's what shopping your wardrobe's all about. Um, we've got the black cap. This has seen better days. Okay, so I, <laughs> I'm i not one to wear my hair down with a cap on. I just feel my ears are just like pushed out. So I would, I like the idea of the cap. And uh, maybe I'd wear the cap with the other outfit, the first one. So if I was to tie my hair up like so, put the cap on and that to me sits better. I'm not loving how this is coming together. Let me know. Shoes to finish off the look. I mean, these are different white trainers that I've got on, just flat white. Um, I think already I prefer to have my other trainers with me from the last outfit. This doesn't feel like me. 
you know when clothes just feel good and feel like you this does not feel like me although I kind of I'm warming to it when I see it in the mirror could my glasses go on with my cap now it's kind of one or the other type of situation they won't go on as well and then I know your one in the picture has uh, a black handbag my only black handbag of that size is my Chanel GST and like I said I'm not traveling with that so I'd simply go back to this older one that I wouldn't mind having you know it take a hit um so this is what what do we think the other alternative I had to the blazer I'm gonna have to root out that black cardigan but the other alternative was to introduce a bit of color by way of my Cezanne cardigan in purple do a little tuck in I mean that's very comfortable as well I still think I'd need another layer um for leaving Ireland I think I'd be cold just like this so I think I'd need that trench coat on again but this is not this is not a bad situation now I think the old black was just throwing me off a little bit I think I needed that little bit of color and I can turn up the sleeves and this feels a little bit better already having the color maybe the cap is throwing me off I don't know so let me know what you think of this second outfit and let's go to the next one for my third outfit I'm choosing these this look with joggers this is a really nice compromise when it comes to having that comfort and not having your trousers on the toilet floor love that so the joggers great in a kind of a khaki color um, I know I have a pair of joggers and I haven't worn them in forever so I'll try to dig those out classic white trainers uh, and a white top a kind of a v-neck sweater now again I might have to get creative here because at the moment I can't think of anything like that in my wardrobe and then kind of a, a large tote bag sunglasses kind of tucked on there to the top uh, a few bits of jewellery, watch, you know, simple. But again, wearing white when you're traveling. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be getting a coffee in the airport. I can just imagine myself spilling coffee on my white top and then I would not feel good <laughs> until I change my outfit at the destination. But I think it could be a good outfit because it's nice and light. Those trousers are not going to be too heavy. I think I might need a neck. Uh, another layer so I might actually add something to this outfit like a blazer or something just to make it more wearable for the colder side of the travel so let's see how this one worked out okay outfit number three with the joggers and as you have seen in the picture the woman is wearing a long sleeved sweater in white I didn't have anything similar like that so I went with v-neck white tee Clearly, I need to layer up because I'm not going around like this at four o'clock in the morning in Ireland. No way. Um, but here's the joggers. I never wear these. Maybe it's time to resurrect them. I'd probably end up cuffing up, like just turning up the inside of them just to give them a better silhouette. I think they sit better when they do that. Yeah, there's just a bit of a better flow to them. The thing about these is they crease really easily not exactly travel friendly. Shoes, I use the same trainers as I had on for the previous outfit. They're very heavy trainers actually, compared to the Nike ones I had. Um, but they're comfortable and they will certainly work well for travel. Now this would be perfect on the Spanish side of outfits because the weather's warmer. But what would I do between Ireland and getting there? I don't know, I think uh, I think maybe a hoodie or something. Let me try a hoodie. This outfit's just not working for me. It feels drab and I think the colors have a lot to do with it. You know me, I'm a winter. These are just, like the gray is okay, but it would certainly need to be teamed with something stronger. These are far too soft. They're like a soft summer color. Um, and I am not loving what's going on here. Although it's very comfortable, I want to, you know, look somewhat put together. And I think the other outfits do that as well as the comfort. So this for me is not, 
it's not winning. I mean, we could put the glasses there, we could do all the things. I just don't think it's, it's gonna come together. <laughs> So that's that outfit. Let me know which outfit you voted for, one, two or three. Hopefully that will help me decide what I'm going to wear next week on my travels to Spain. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye bye.